Um, but because I did that, it uh, it caused uh, a little bit of a stir, and and a very nice polite rejection letter from uh, the head of Edinburgh Libraries. Uh, but the due to the fact that there is a book out by uh, Solvay Hofflin, which is uh, the Open Office 1.0 resource kit, which is an excellent book, very detailed, and in the back of the book there's a CD. And I knew that if the library uh, had this book and it had the CD in it, and I knew that my software was the same as the CD, then there was no reason why the libraries should reject my CD. Uh, well, that's what I thought at the time. So I went along and I started to talk to the politicians. Uh, the local councillor, uh, he wrote a letter to the libraries and then my CDs were then accepted into the libraries of Edinburgh, except they were not in the catalogue. They were available for lending, but the only way that they were going to be lent is if you found it and they kept the CD at the back in the back office, so nobody actually knew where it was, because it wasn't in the catalogue, but it was available for lending. And that wasn't really quite good enough for me. Uh, so I talked to Patrick Harvey, a uh, member of the Scottish Parliament, and he uh, wrote a letter uh, to, and it basically went through the bureaucracy uh, of the Scottish Government. and. But the politicians are not allowed to tell librarians what to have in their libraries because librarians are independent from the government and very li rightly so. So then I had to ask the permission from the heads of libraries uh, throughout Scotland and I refined the way that I presented myself and the CD that I was going to make because libraries have specific needs. They needed to have a, it presented well, the CD presented well, they needed to have a liability statement, uh, they needed to have some documentation with it, things like that. And uh, But once that was in place, uh, they, they really liked it. And uh, out of uh, 32 councils, Scottish uh, local councils, 20 accepted, and we got 400 and 17 CDs scattered throughout Scotland in the libraries out of a possibility of 507. And the, the, so that, that's how they, they accepted that and uh, they started going into the libraries finally. And the, I can now go down into my uh, local library and I can borrow the open office CD, which is great because the open office CD, that's one program. There are thousands and thousands of software programs available in open source. And so it means that the libraries, have, some libraries have decided that they are willing to start lending out or acting as a distribution system for information, digital information on CD. It might be open source software, but it could also be purely information, like uh, a CD with books from like the Gutenberg project, which is thousands and thousands of books, uh, all, all in one seat, you know, Shakespeare, and, uh, I, I can't remember the, the full list of them, but there's thousands of them. And uh, that's a wonderful thing, because uh, not only if, if I've got somebody who's out in the islands in Scotland and can't get access to the internet, a fast internet connection, which is good to be unlikely for a long time. They can get a CD and they can not only get these books, but they can get OpenOffice, which is a word processor spreadsheet presentation package, and they, then they've got effectively a, a huge class uh, about English literature right in front of them and they can write about it. And uh, and if it's in Gaelic, then they can change it 
into Gaelic if, if that's what they, they wanted. They could translate it into Gaelic. So, uh, but with this software going into uh, all these... I have to change the tape. All right. Uh, <coughs>